Subscribe for the very latest. Bye, Daddy. Listen, um, I want to get into some to some sneakers. You know how we do, man. Um, let's. Um, so, like I was telling, I was telling uh, Jay early. I was rushing, uh, trying to get, trying to get back here. I was chilling with the fam, uh, and putting together the podcast at the same time. I'm like, man, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, uh, but I got, I got, I got it done. Um, I want to, I want to talk about, I want to talk about the, uh, the pennies. Mm. I want to talk about the penny hardaways, man. As soon as I get, as soon as I get this to come, the upload, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it up here. Hold up. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, uh, where you at? This is crazy okay there we go all right so let's get into it penny hardaways these uh, joints right here man i don't know if you like oh yeah i can't see it hold up let me put it up right here hold on hold on there we go these right here if it loads up these joints right here mm. remember those penny hardaways um Red, you 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 a sneakerhead? I wouldn't call myself a sneakerhead, but I, I I got a few that's my faves. What's your favorites? Uh, my faves, man. Uh, if you talking about like right now, I'm loving. No, I'm, I'm talking about anything, oh, this, anything, anything, period. anything. Yeah. Period. Uh, I would have to say, man. Um, I would have to say it's out of the dunks and the air forces because mm -hmm. the reason i love the air force ones because they can you know they could be casual you know and white air force not the not the not the all black ones <laughs> gotcha. you know, gotcha. oh, oh 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 yeah <laughs> but low top air forces and then um just the dunks because i feel like i like shoes that could be considered casual and kind of go with everything you know what i'm saying but and i'll say this modern day my favorite shoes to wear prestos mm yeah press those those, those those yeah. are comfortable those are real comfortable that's what yeah that's what i'm saying like just to wear just all around man i love my press those do you know about penny hardaways yeah yeah yeah. of course okay. i know about penny hardaways but i never was like super into sneakers as much as i was into music and mm. you know all the other stuff but yeah yeah i know i know about them and then you know what the ironic thing is uh those pennies um the black ones with the blue all over them those mm. kind of look like the kevin garnett's right right mm. you remember the uh kevin garnett yeah. that, uh wasn't they black with the blue all on them yeah, yeah a lot of them a lot of these these are about the phone posits right like these ones with the mm -hmm. uh yeah, yeah like the, the phone posits they, they a lot of them had that same look i think and correct me from walker walt I, I listen i respect walt's uh shoe shoe vernacular all his game he, he knows a lot about sneakers man you know um and, and the designer sneakers so correct me from walt uh i'm wrong walt but the phone pauses normally are based off the front of the sneaker right like the like the um because the deposit part is the is the hard shell i would say you know what i'm saying um but, but, but when you look at some of the phone pods they kind of look the same from the side right yeah it's it's based off that that shell that like okay. that shell and um like the foam technology that they that nike claims is in the shoe for the right. support and the, it being comfortable but as far as like the foam posits the foam posit one technically because because penny's hardaway's name isn't on the shoe it isn't his shoe but within the sneaker community like people who collect we mm -hmm. recognize it as penny hardaway's shoe because he you. nike featured the sneaker on him and nike's done that before they'll have a they'll have a player rock a, a sneaker and not mm -hmm. necessarily put their name on it but they'll mm -hmm. 
it's their sneaker. So gotcha. the, because uh, Penny Hardaway has, if you look at it like on like the the picture that you have up, the line goes basically clockwise. Um, the way I'm looking at it. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. Uh huh. Um, but all those have his name on. And uh, right. like, depending on one, two, three, four, five, like they they all have his name on. But the the phone posit, the phone posit one, the OG phone posit, that that is like the that's the shoot. If when I was working at when I was working at Chance, people was like, Y'all got some pennies? They talking about them. They talking about the phone posits. Mm. So mm. um but yeah, that's yeah, that's that's and I do think that's the best looking one. Mm, so, so, so I mean, of, not of all the pennies, but my favorite penny is the first one. But out of all the phone posits, that's the best one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Got you. So, so the 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 Penny Hardaway shoe is is like in 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 the, in the um I I could say a lot of black neighborhoods, a lot of people who yeah. you know that play ball or 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 was really into basketball. Or just shoe collecting. That Penny Hardaway shoe was special. Like that was, that's like first day of school shoe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 you know, summertime, get your get your fit right. You know, um, but that shoe is 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 a staple. It was a staple in the neighborhood. Um, you know, right up there with the with the uh the camps, the um, let's see, the paint I think the Peyton's was in there, Dion and them. You know that was that 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 you know they people like those shoes they they were they were in that realm you know what I mean um and what so so all right so Walt so you like the phone posits oh I like yeah I love the phone posits is, so what's right. your is that your favorite because you know you know as you can see here it's many it's right. many uh pennies like what is that your favorite or. I'd say, I mean, I'd say my favorite penny is the first one. That's the first my, one. Yeah, you said the first one. Yeah, the air penny. Okay. One. That's air that's penny. My yeah. After okay. that, then I would probably say it's the phone posits after that. Yeah. Okay. And, and I then, think Red Red said he liked the first one, right? He liked the the the, the black and the uh, phone posit ones, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. What? What you were saying? But um, but you know, like after you know, after he retired finish playing mm -hmm. you know um but nike they started up this line again so they started right. up with um a six and a seven shoe and those are fly too those are fly too like the ones that they came out um, afterwards after he finished playing because the thing about penny hardaway um i don't he was probably going to get to this i don't need to cut you off he was going to say this but um the after michael jordan he's probably like as far as like their og athletes not include you know because lebron starts basically right. a whole nother way but he out there original athletes after michael jordan i think i'm pretty sure it's penny hardaway between penny hardaway and charles barkley that have like the mm, best i forgot about them barkley oh just oh yeah. just saying yeah. that like so, they in there he in there with them barkley's yeah i he, forgot exactly yes he, he definitely in them barkley's man uh, yes, yes. I mean, of course, you know, you got other guys, you know, like Ken Griffin Jr., but he's really just had like, one or two shoes. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's really like, I don't know, I'm not going to slip on Deion Sanders neither, because I don't mm -hmm. know if y'all heard about, you know, that whole thing he's doing with his son. I don't know if y'all heard he about that. Nah. Like, what he's what's he doing with his son? Yeah. He's doing, he's shooting a commercial with his son, but he's got like a Lambo that's like cuffed, like completely The same design covered. as the 94s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, but he's, it's, it's it, that's why it's so cool though. It's so fly to do that with your CD, like on with, with Nike. So I feel like that, that's so fly to do. Yeah. But, but as far as, um, I think, yeah, basketball, there's no question. It's between Penny and Charles, and I think Penny got it. Because them phone posits, when I tell you, when I tell you, when I was working at Champ Sports, how much that phone was ringing, how many times, how long the lines were outside, how these people was coming in just to get these phone posits. They don't drop these like that no more. Mm -hmm. And yet, when we talking resale, when we talking resale, it's at least three to four hundred dollars. So it's okay. like, yeah, yeah, they're more that for the you know the Jordan Eleven is like the Jordan, right? The yeah. phone posit is that for Penny Hardaway. Penny. Mm -hmm. 
So it's that it's that big of a deal. Like Penny is. I wonder what the contracts are looking like, man. How much of a percentage does he get? Is he getting out of that stuff? I would imagine it was. I mean, I the thing about it is, I wouldn't imagine it would be something too different than Michael Jordan's original contract right. with um, with Nike. Of course, um, he's not. He's not getting. He wasn't. He isn't getting what Michael Jordan or. I would say, probably say LeBron James is getting as far as like mm. how much uh, how much of a percentage. But I know he gets a percentage off each pair that's sold because that's, that's what Nike did. If y'all ever watched that movie Air, Air, yeah, 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 like it it breaks that it breaks it down about how how Nike made that after Jordan broke the mold and and um they had every signature guy who comes on and has a signature sneaker and as it sells they get a piece of that. Michael Jordan was the first one to actually put that in stone. So he set that standard and now everybody who comes after gets that same deal because mm -hmm. this is, you're not, of course the sneakers are beautiful, don't get me wrong, but you're buying it because Penny Hardaway is a hell of a right. basketball player. So, right. and the, the art form and the craft that he puts in the way he plays. And that's another part of it too, the creativity that, that Penny Hardaway plays with, the, it's reflected in the shoe. Like, they, mm -hmm. they really did a good job with like how they marketed and all that kind of stuff so and 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 the, and the dope thing about penny hardaway is and it's really it's a marriage between how he played and how dope the shoe is right because you don't you could be i i'm i'm, I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> ain't too many LeBron, people Jay. lining up. Ain't no people. Ain't nobody lining up to get no Tim Duncan's. Oh, oh wow. Wow. see, why you had to do that? Why you had to take shots at Tim Duncan? Tim Duncan would bother nobody. Exactly. There you go. Man. You know, all this but, man, but, Brian McKnight of 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 of, of he's the basketball. basketball. He's the Brian at basketball. Like, somebody, he, he, he somebody, he oatmeal. Well, but he dry. He dry. You know what I'm saying. But see, but see what I'm saying, Jay Red. It's like. I, you know, the cooler you are, the smoother you are in what you do, the more people will buy into your product. Isn't that how business work, right? That's mm -hmm. how that's how it be, right? So the way the way Penny played, the way he posted up on Jordan, yeah, he was posting Jordan up. Yo, he was giving yo, him and him and that that whole Jordan battle was that was pretty that was a pretty good they 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 will they will they will be going at it man I, you know but he he was the one at one point oh yeah they're the only he ones was that the one the bulls in the mountains they're the right. only ones that beat them he can you actually know? say like yeah i beat the bulls in the mountains mm -hmm. right so so, so two questions for y'all um one do we think that LeBron's shoe is going to be like a shoe that comes out and resells like nah. this? <laughs> nah. Nah. Y'all don't know, man. Y'all don't know, man. I, 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 but put it like, I mean, it'll resell, but will it have the uh, impact? Like, I mean, because a lot of shoes are going to resell anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, if um, say just uh i'm trying to think of like a random nba player let's just say uh clay thompson put out some sneakers and said hey it's only 10 of these available right those are gonna resell just in general right mm -hmm. but lebron ain't nobody lining up to, to get no lebron <laughs> you said I they, mean, you I, said I, they ain't look good like that they're not they're I, not like, I, like I that i love lebron <laughs> but i'm just saying like you're talking about legacy he'll have a legacy of who he was but it don't translate to sneakers like hey, but you sleeping man you but, sleeping jay man you sleeping I mean, the one thing it does sleeping. translate into it translates into whatever juicy drink in the stay in, in human no no, no <laughs> we're not doing that tonight yeah. we're not hey, doing hey, that tonight hey chuck i'm gonna put you no down. you see how, you see how he do <laughs> you see how he do that i'm just i just i just i'm just yeah. hey i mean he, listen he, he he on something but that's beside the point listen um, y'all taking shots tonight but, but yeah but I, shots but go ahead, Walt. Go ahead, Walt. So I'm gonna say this real quick, right? So when LeBron was playing in Miami, those are like when he's playing in Miami, 
I would probably say those are like the hottest of LeBron's sneakers. Mm-hmm. That's his, that's the high end. I would say that. Like what he's doing now with the Lakers, like the sneakers that he's coming up with now, they're a little bit more laid back and chill. But when he was with Miami, that's the hype highlight. That's the so best he's really him. been, honestly. That's the best like, he's really been. And I'm, I'm saying, like, I mean, I think the best LeBron is Cavs part two LeBron, but that's a yes. definite discussion. I agree but, with that. Agree. But um, but when he was with Miami, the sneakers that he was coming out with, the nine, the the nine, not the ten, but the nine, the eleven, and I'll say the eight, the eight, the nine, and the eleven. Those three on his in his sneaker line. LeBron has a there's literally a pair called the South Beach. They re released it like last year. As soon as it came out, they sold out. Mm. The reason why those that was because LeBron won his first ring in that sneaker. Now, outside of that, it is a it's a dope sneaker. I think I sent the, a picture of that sneaker to you, uh, team. Mm. Um, but um, oh yeah, these. Five. I remember those. Yes, I, I remember yes. those. Oh, yeah. The LeBron, yeah. yeah, the LeBron eight, the LeBron nine, but definitely, definitely the LeBron eleven because the LeBron eleven. Uh, again, I'm telling y'all. When I was, they have not. They don't re-release that that sneaker. They're not. They're probably not going to re-release it until after he retires. But when those LeBron Elevens come out, and when after he retires, when he's done, and when they release with him, caps will be flooded. I I promise y'all. You're right, people, dog. People are going to be going crazy for his sneakers because it's going on for 880 right now on StockX. I'm telling yeah, y'all. Yeah, he joins so fire. I'm telling y'all, when when LeBron is done, when he retires, and when he when he start retroing his stuff, because they already started doing his very very first shoe, and that's probably one of the uglier ones. Mm-hmm. But when we talk about the eight, the nine, and the eleven, especially the eleven, when they release oh. those, people are gonna go crazy. So so, so let me ask you this, because I, I yeah the, the argument is there. I, I hear your argument, right? But and I and mm-hmm. I hear Jay Red because I, I think what I'm I guess what he's saying is like, yo, like it don't have the the the, the nostalgia, you know what I'm saying? Like it don't have that mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like is, is it gonna have that that thing that Barkley Barkley ain't got a ring. Let's start he ain't got no ring and he in the and in, in the in the sneakers still go. You so, see what I'm saying? I'm telling you this, it may not have nostalgia for us because we, it's, that's us. But when we talking about, let's say somebody young who's catch. like, I'm saying someone who's like 18, 19, mm-hmm. guys who are going into the draft now, I, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I'm telling you that, that 11, that, especially the, I would just say the 11, the 11, yes. the LeBron 11, that, that sneaker in particular was selling like hot cakes bro. like mm-hmm. when it came out and when we talk about nostalgia he didn't three-peat in that sneaker because he never three-peated but i think he won his back-to-back in that sneaker and he wore that when he was in miami that sneaker was selling like crazy and the thing about lebron's like the the names on it it's called watch the throne it's oh, got, okay yeah 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 those, yeah, those, yeah yeah like his his sneakers are do have a lot of weight because the thing about lebron that the advantage that lebron has is because we have all the footage we 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 really witnessed it in real time when we start thinking about what happened when he was in his miami years all that you're thinking about the sneakers that this man was wearing like what he did this so when you put all that weight behind it i'm i'm telling y'all it does have that nostalgia feeling for it. It has it for me. I know I'm the youngest one up there, but I, it, it do have it for me. Like when they decide to redrop them joints, because mm. everybody's got hot shoes. Like Derrick Rose, when Ooh, Derrick Rose yeah. retires and they retro his sneakers, mm-hmm. like the D Rose one and the D Rose two, like when they retro his sneakers, cats gonna line up in Chicago. They gonna go crazy for him mm. because of the nostalgia and the fact that he was like adidas really really first signature signature athlete i know kobe kind of was yeah kobe gave up on adidas derrick rose still gets a his shoe from adidas so it's trust and i'll say this about lebron too nobody else got a lifetime contract with Nike. Lifetime. i gave him a lifetime contract lifetime contract mm. 
That's how much they got invested in this man. He, if he wasn't like, selling them sneakers, trust they ain't gonna be like. I so, mean, you so not that raising the question, <laughs> man. That brings the question: Will 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 LeBron really retire? Well, yes, he's <laughs> already. <laughs> I see. I think it's gonna happen right after his son. His son said he's going to the draft, and they're gonna draft him. All right, the Lakers gonna pick him up. They're gonna be like, he might not get drafted, but he's gonna like get picked up by the by the Lakers. I don't I don't see why LeBron would be like, yeah, pick pick him up, pick him up. He gonna be on my team. No one else believe in him. I believe. In him. Pick him up. Am I saying he gonna be super nice like his dad? I ain't saying that, but I definitely not. think he can play. So no, he might be. He might be. You know, who knows? Yeah. So, who knows? But I mean, I I, now I, I hear both of y'all. I, I hear both of y'all. Only time I'm going to tell, though. I mean, um, oh, facts, facts, facts. You mm-hmm. know, only time I'm going to tell because the thing about it is that, uh, and I, I think at the end of the day, whatever is valuable or seems to be valuable to, you know, people on the market, and it, it, it's, it's really kind of hard to tell, really, because the resellers going to buy it regardless, right? So. It's hard to tell when when the resellers buy it, whether or not it's really being bought or 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 really really has value to it. If that makes sense, you know. I I just you know like I said, but we'll we'll see. Um, but shout out. Uh, one more thing. One more thing before we go. I want to talk about Anthony Hardaway, the player. Right. Um. What are your thoughts when you hear Anthony or uh, Anthony, Anthony, Anthony Hardaway? What do you, what are we talking about with Penny? Like what, 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 what goes to your mind? <sighs> Penny, at least for me, he is in my top five. What ifs? That's crazy. That's crazy, man. That's my, it's, it's sad that- to say that. It's sad to Top say that. Five but. What ifs of Same. like, if he would have stayed healthy, what conversation? What would we be having around around him? So, because Penny was tenth ahead of his time, uh, from a from a from a from a point guard standpoint, a six seven point guard. Who is basically his arms is crazy, yo? His arms is yeah. crazy. With that type of athleticism, skill set, pretty much can do it all, and have a, a style to it. He was definitely ahead of his time, and unfortunately, you know, injuries happened, and he became, you know, shelling himself shortly after Shaq left. So, mm-hmm. um. But even in that brief stint of time, like Penny, first of all, just a nickname alone is 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 is, is legendary. Like, yo, know, the name is Penny. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then that, you know, that translated into the shoe. But as a player, like he he created that stupid, I don't say stupid in a bad way, but like he had that he had that weird step back half mm. spin move that mm. I was just like Yo, what is that? Like Penny was just a madly creative, like point guard, big like a, a bigger point guard than than most Pauls. Um, then again, he was just ahead of his time. And, and then when I watched the highlights of Penny, I'm like, yo, Penny had the whole toolkit. He had not one like glaring weakness in this game. Like he, and it was just like, damn man, if he would have put maybe ten. 14 years of prime you know prime seasons what conversation we'll be having versus like oh man he was just injury prone it's the same conversation we had with t-mac and, and some others who just like bro we could just seen like at least a 10-year stretch of just prime play we could be having these kind of top 15 top 10 conversation potentially but but for that time frame oh yeah penny was definitely definitely gifted for sure, Jay Ray, you watch a lot of basketball, Jay Ray. Uh, I was just watching LeBron snap off on uh on the bench. Oh, mm. oh, last night. Yeah, yeah, he was going yeah. off on uh, oh, yeah. on him. 
Yeah, this is the time where I really yeah, he, up and yeah, he said just the fucking yeah that he was going in, man. Mm. Yeah, nah, yeah, for sure. What's what you think about Anthony Hardaway, man? I mean, I'm like I like that what if thing. Yeah. And I wanna say, um, wasn't there a thing on Netflix? Was it talking about him or was it talking about the magics? Uh it was some years ago. I think it was him and Shaq. Him and Shaq, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that thirty for thirty. Yeah, Yeah, I want to say that that yeah, yeah, that that because I wasn't like heavily watching it, of course, because I was real young at the time back then. But of course, I remember the name and stuff. I started watching it heavily once Allen Iverson started playing, and you know, my favorite, you know what I'm saying. But um, but yeah, just the big what if, you know what I'm saying, like him, the Grand Hills, the uh, you know, the different, (laughs) the different people like that, man, Mm. that you just want to be great or just be like what if you know what i'm saying right, like, right. Know, it's the pretty much the same sentiments as my man just said you know same thing mm. well no trim trim go trim go trim go because I, I i left trim out last night i don't want him to get mad at me <laughs> again you, you know yeah trim 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 all right first of all do you remember penny playing do you remember his game like what, what do you what do you like you remember him when he was in Orlando? Is he frozen? Is he frozen? He might be frozen. He might be thinking. He might be thinking, man. He Is he thinking of frozen? Know. I think he. I think he. Frozen. I don't know. He ain't blinking. He ain't blinking. Um. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get back to Trent, man. Walt. What you, what you? Um. So yeah, for Penny Hardaway, I the what if thing did um big on that um. As far as what if, I only, I think maybe only one, maybe two players, if they also didn't have injuries derail their their career, that would might have been better than him, and that's Grant Hill mm. and Derrick Rose. And Derrick Rose, yeah, like mm. Grant Hill and Derrick I Rose are the only guys that I think if they didn't get hurt, you might consider be better than him. Outside of that, I don't think there's another player that is better. Not yeah. T Mac. T Mac, hmm. I saw it. I feel like we seen it. We saw it. I feel like between the Rockets mm. and the Magic, I feel like we kind of saw what the player he was because to be fair, Penny okay. didn't reach it. You see, That's you fair. Know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, yeah, I got he you. didn't reach it. I just feel like he was too young in his career when he took on the weight of being the franchise player. Not having Shaq to defer to, too much weight was on him. And he just, I think his body just got taxed too early. So, mm. so, so the knee injuries come on. When you don't, especially in them times, if you don't have like a solid, solid guy playing next to you, if you're not Michael Jordan, like I don't see how you're going to be able to keep that up. Right. And that, it's the same thing with Grant Hill. Like that's the reason why he left Detroit. So when you think about Penny Hardaway, I, again, I don't think there's another player that I feel like. I mean, there's only two players outside of them two players. I don't think anybody's going to be better. The when I think about his way, the way he was diamond, I have still yet to see a 6'8 guard who can move that fast, that good of a handle, and was mm-hmm. diamond. He's diamond between guys, yo. Like, he's 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 throwing the risky passes. Right, and right. He, because he can see over the, he can see, because he's so tall, he can see over the defense, and he can, and his court vision is crazy. He can see, he can see where, like, you know you're going to be and when you're not going to be. He knows when guys are paying attention, not going to pay attention. He was so, intelligent. He I'm definitely saying, his IQ was crazy. Slick, like yeah, you know, like almost like a like a like a Jason Williams kind of not like not super super flashy, but to be able to know like where the offense is not going to be able to see it, like throwing passes behind guys' heads, like that's the stuff that. Yeah, he was that definitely. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that stuff. Yeah, he yeah. he was he was crazy with it. Yes, bro. He, and, and, and Penny was crazy with it. I I, I I'm so like disappointed at his career but you know um i would say this though i would say this and this is like like anybody who creates art anybody who is an athlete 
um anything that you're doing that you're in a space where you're trying to be great you know sometimes sometimes it's, it's just enough to be to leave an imprint on someone or something you know you may not get the ring you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying you may not get you may not get the the accolades that come with it but you never know whatever you what, what's going to happen to whatever you put on this planet mm. and where and who's going to pick it up and take it further than you it's okay even moses didn't get to the plot promised land you, you know could be saying? influential yeah like yeah yeah it's, sure. it's okay to accept that accept that you know it's okay because guess what i don't have i don't have the number one one of the best shoes of all time i don't have I'm not, you know, I haven't done the things that, that that Penny's done. I would love to do what Penny done and 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 be and be good with that, you know. You just, just, but sometimes everybody's not going to be able to do it, man. And sometimes just accept. I know, I know, as athletes, especially, it's very hard when you when you put your work into it. It's very hard to accept that. But understand if you don't accept that, like, um. I was watching uh Barry Sanders documentary and Barry yeah. Sanders documentary, you know, hey, Barry was the greatest running back ever. The greatest. Right? But you know what? He said, you know what? I gotta go. Sometimes you gotta make a decision to retire. You know? I don't Barry is it. I don't know. It's tough, right? Okay, Barry. I think Barry quit because he knew that they wasn't going to win. We're not going to win. They're not going nowhere. <laughs> it's, it's, we... one thing to, it's one thing to quit when you say, you know what? I I physically or mentally don't got it anymore. I, I emptied out that entire tank. It's beyond empty. That empty light been on for a year or two. You just like, man, I'm cooked. Right, right. This one, Barry. Barry still had, Barry, when he retired, had over 20. What 1400 yards rushing? Like, he still had he still had some miles left. He was just well, like, it was, the, it was the smartest the environment. It was the smartest decision he made that, that, that somebody could ever make for themselves, you know. Well, hold on, and, I, got a, I got a question, my bad. And it, it, although I got cut off last segment, um, mm -hmm. and it's technical issues, but I did have a question. Uh, you guys talking about retirement, I wanted to go back real quick to Penny. Did he have, I mean. Did he get any championships, man? No. Like no. I didn't follow Penny like that. I didn't follow. Yeah, no. Nah. Like and, and, and and that's what we that's what we were saying. Like it's okay, you know. He didn't get any chips. You know, he he didn't. He he, nah, he, he got, got a, he got a blue chip. He got yeah, blue oh, chip. Shout, shout out to blue chips. Blue chips was a dope movie. <laughs> dope movie. Yeah. Dope movie. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah. That that was a dope movie. But you know, he he like, didn't get the chance yeah. to be the greatest as he as he could be. But like I was saying, like you just sometimes. You have to make smart decisions for yourself like Barry Barry Sanders did. You got to be understand, hey, you know what? This is this maybe this is all I got. This is maybe this is you know, understand the business that you're in. You know, and you know, be it, the, the most important part about about this whole thing is providing for yourself and your family. That's it. And you know one thing like what how did did he get sick? How, how why did he step down? Injuries. He's Injuries. tired. I, I was telling them earlier, like, after Shaq leaves, because they didn't want to pay Shaq that money. Because Orlando, and Orlando is notorious for this. So, just let That's everybody bad. know. Yes. Oh, um, but they didn't pay Shaq his money, so Shaq went to LA. And Penny was the lone star on the team, and he was still young. His body, I, I think this happens a lot. Not everybody can be LeBron James or Michael Jordan. Right to be able to right. carry a franchise by yourself and to be There's able to turn it into a win. Yes. Out of and the man. he just, he, he wasn't ready for that. So it's the same thing that happened with Grant Hill. Like you put, same thing that happened kind of with Derrick Rose. I think Derrick Rose was just a freak accident. But with, mm. with Penny Hardaway, too much was on Penny Hardaway to for him to turn magic to turn the magic into a win. And he kept getting injury. I think he just pushed it too hard. Yeah. So and then even like when he went to Phoenix, like you thought he was gonna have a big right. resurgence. Ah uh, right. it just 
it, it just, couldn't go. It, it couldn't. It, it was just, it wasn't, it's just, it wasn't fair. Like it wasn't, it wasn't at that time. So it was injuries, man. Yeah, sad, sad <laughs> career, but um, we He's love- the only him. one that beat Jordan though in right. the 90s. He, he can right. say that, he can say right. that. Hey, that listen, that's a chip within itself. That's a chip, you might, yeah. hey, hey, Penny, go get a ring that says, I'm the only one that beat Jordan. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, that'll work. But shout out to shout out to shout out to Penny, man. We, we we love you as a person and a player. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Penny. Excellent um, coach too. He's an yeah, he is. Oh, he's gonna. He, he, I think he might he might end up NBA level one day, man. Um, definitely. Deep in the rap, graffiti, break dancing, DJ and B-Boy stance, MCing, I harness those artifacts, collecting data of the transitions like an almanac, hip-hop ain't dead, these young boys different, adapting, over time, every day the world's spinning, let's celebrate the fact, we still winning, we global, kids from the project became moguls, real to real track, boys to pro tools, vinyls, cassettes, and the tape deck, CDs, now you can stream your music to the consumer direct, and get most of the checks, I'm noble.